The global market for ready-to-eat packaged meals exceeds $200 billion, an impressive figure that requires the daily processing of millions of tons of food in factories around the world. But have you ever wondered how these meals are actually made? To find out, let's travel to the United States, the leading consumer of packaged foods. The history of prepared packaged meals shows how humanity has always looked for ways to preserve food, make it accessible, and simplify how we consume it. It began with basic techniques like drying and salting, which were essential for extending shelf life during difficult times. A major breakthrough came in the 19th century with the invention of canned food, originally developed to supply troops during wartime. In the 20th century, industrial freezing revolutionized the industry even further. It allowed the creation of heat and serve meals, like the famous TV dinners of the 1950s, designed for busy families. With globalization and the rise of the microwave, these options became more diverse, adapting to different tastes and lifestyles. Today, prepared meals offer healthier, gourmet, and more sustainable options, while their cultural and social impact continues to evolve. So how are thousands of packaged meals made every single day? The process begins with the arrival of the main ingredients, which are carefully selected to meet strict quality standards. Depending on the final product, these ingredients include basics like rice, meat, vegetables, sauces, and a variety of additives used to preserve the product or improve its texture and flavor. Once received, the ingredients go through a rigorous inspection and quality control process. This includes microbiological tests to detect harmful bacteria, chemical analyses to ensure there are no unwanted residues like pesticides, and physical inspections to catch any foreign particles. In automated production plants, optical scanners and metal detectors help guarantee ingredient purity. After approval, the ingredients are sorted and stored in controlled conditions to maintain freshness. For example, perishable items like meat and vegetables are kept in refrigerated chambers at precise temperatures while dry ingredients like rice and spices are stored in humidity-regulated environments. Once everything is in place, the hard work of cooking tons of food begins. It usually starts with the base, such as rice, which is cooked in high-capacity industrial kettles designed to ensure even cooking. Before reaching the kettles, the rice goes through a cleaning and sorting process to remove any impurities. The kettles operate with automated systems that control both temperature and cooking time, ensuring the rice is neither undercooked nor overdone. They use advanced sensors to constantly monitor heat and moisture levels. Some kettles even include built-in stirrers to prevent the rice from sticking or burning. Water is added with exact measurements and can be enriched with broth or seasonings to enhance flavor during cooking. Once the rice is done, it is automatically drained and, if needed, quickly cooled to maintain texture and quality. The next stage in the production line is the cooking and preparation of proteins. In large-scale food manufacturing, proteins like beef, chicken or fish go through a carefully controlled process to ensure quality and flavour. It begins with selection and preparation and the cooking method depends on the type of meal being made. Meats and poultry are often cooked on industrial grills, which provide even heat to ensure thorough cooking and enhance texture. Fish is usually prepared in large industrial steamers to preserve its moisture and delicate flavor. Convection ovens are also used, especially when a consistent golden finish is required. In some cases, proteins are cut into specific sizes for the final dish. They are seasoned with spices and marinades to deepen the flavor. Some proteins are sealed in sauces before being added to the meals. This step helps lock in flavor and maintain moisture during storage. When it comes to fresh vegetables, the process begins with automated washing systems that use pressurized water and sometimes ozone or ultraviolet treatments to remove pesticide residues and microorganisms. The vegetables then move to peeling machines which use rotating blades or friction depending on the type, ensuring clean results without damaging the product. Cutting is done using precision equipment that can be adjusted to match the required size for each dish. 
These machines use stainless steel blades to ensure consistent portions, which improves both cooking efficiency and presentation. Once all the ingredients are ready, the assembly process begins. This is a fully automated stage designed to guarantee precision, efficiency and consistency in every single tray. First, the trays are aligned on a conveyor belt and moved toward different stations where each component is added in the correct order. The rice, pasta or any other main base is evenly distributed using automatic dispensers calibrated to ensure each portion meets exact weight and volume standards. Next, proteins like beef, chicken or fish are added using robotic systems that carefully position each piece to maintain the dish's presentation. In the next stage, the vegetables, already cooked and prepared, are strategically placed to complete the main course. If the menu includes sauces or condiments, they are dispensed with precision through sensor-controlled nozzles. This ensures even distribution and helps reduce waste. For menus that include side items such as fresh salads, mashed potatoes or beans, these are added into separate compartments in the trays, making sure they stay in optimal condition until the moment of consumption. The entire system is monitored by sensors and artificial vision cameras that oversee the assembly process in real time. This ensures not only the freshness and quality of the food, but also an attractive presentation that is ready to be enjoyed by the consumer. The next step is one of the most important in the production line for packaged meals. To ensure freshness and food safety, the assembled dishes must go through a rapid cooling process. This begins in high-speed freezing tunnels or cooling chambers where the meals are exposed to precisely controlled streams of cold air. Inside the freezing tunnels, a constant flow of extremely cold air, sometimes as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius, is used depending on the product. This method quickly brings down the food's temperature, allowing it to pass through the so-called danger zone between 5 and 60 degrees Celsius in just minutes, reducing the risk of bacterial growth. In some cases, cryogenic freezing is used where food is cooled using gases like liquid nitrogen or carbon dioxide. This ensures ultra-fast freezing that preserves the cellular structure of the food, maintaining its texture, taste and appearance. For refrigerated products, the cooling chambers are designed with air circulation systems that evenly distribute the cold, ensuring that all batches reach the desired temperature at the same rate. Automated systems constantly monitor temperature and humidity to maintain perfect control throughout the process. Once cooled, the meals are sent to the sealing area where thermo-sealing machines apply a plastic or aluminum film over the tray. Heat and pressure create a tight seal that keeps out air and moisture, prevents cross-contamination and helps preserve freshness. The sealed trays then go through automatic inspection systems, including leak detectors and vision cameras to verify seal integrity. Any container with defects, such as leaks or deformation, is automatically removed from the production line, making sure only flawless products reach the customer. After sealing, the trays are moved to the labelling station. Here, automated systems place labels on each package with essential information, such as the dish name, ingredients, nutritional facts, heating instructions and expiration date. Labeling machines use sensors to ensure that each label is applied evenly and that all information is clearly readable. Many packages also include barcodes or QR codes to allow easy tracking across the entire supply chain. Before hitting the market, the labeled packages go through one final inspection to verify the accuracy of the information and the proper placement of the labels. This step ensures that every product meets legal standards and lives up to consumer expectations. Once the trays are sealed and labelled, they are grouped into reinforced cardboard boxes or reusable plastic containers. This final packaging protects the trays during transportation and makes them easier to handle. The boxes are automatically assembled and filled by robotic packing systems that ensure a fast and efficient process. Each box is labelled with traceability data such as batch codes, destinations and production dates. They are then moved into refrigerated chambers where they are kept under strict temperature control until they are ready for distribution. These chambers use continuous monitoring systems to ensure the products stay in perfect condition during storage. Once ready for delivery, the meals are loaded into refrigerated trucks equipped with temperature control technology. 
These vehicles use advanced sensors to maintain a stable internal environment, protecting the food's freshness and quality throughout the journey. Transportation is carefully planned to optimize routes and delivery times, reducing delays and lowering costs. Once the products arrive at their destinations, such as supermarkets or grocery stores, they are placed in refrigerated shelves designed to preserve the cold chain. Before reaching consumers, store staff carry out routine checks to ensure refrigeration conditions are adequate and that the products continue to meet quality standards. And that's how millions of packaged meals are produced and shipped around the world. What did you think of the process? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. On the next screen, you'll find more videos that might catch your interest. Go ahead and check one out. See you next time.